Hey there, and welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel for our special on a fan's view of the Bloodstock Festival 2023. I'm going to send you straight over to check out with Becca from the wonderful Jackal's Backbone over at Bloodstock. Good morning, ADK viewers. <laughs> I'm Becca Shron from Jackal's Backbone, just in case you haven't heard of us before. No, um, but yes. I realise I do have missed quite a bit of uh, vlogging so far, but bear with me and I will continue vlogging um, once we've found people and we're walking up to the entrance, I will continue to vlog there at the moment. Oh, okay. I couldn't get out of my car just then either. <laughs> but no, yes. I'm Vectron from Jack's Backbone and this is going to be my vlogging experience of Blugstock 2023. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. Ah. So the thing here that Greg is currently gaffer taping the trolley. Jake currently has a big backpack on. I bought especially for this occasion. Greg's got one similar. This is the uh, cars over there. <laughs> oh, so funny. I'm sweating like uh Um, yeah. Mm. This is my least favourite part about the festival. <sighs> Not now. I'm only just adjusted. Walking past all the wonderful metal pets. Greg here. Taking our luggage that he strapped down ever so well. Uh, hopefully, it will be secure enough when we walk along Grassy Hill, which I will show you guys when we get there. <laughs> Did you just fart? No, no. <laughs> Did you just fart? I wish. <laughs> Look at Greg's sexy beard. I can't zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we got up at 6 a.m. this morning, quite easily. Um, it's probably because I knew I was vlogging this morning and I've been slightly worried about it, just in case I've missed anything. Um, I was stressed. Greg came at about 8 a.m. Um, managed to pack his car, Citroen C1. It's all going so well. That's really, it's really well. Too good, actually. Um, and then, what happened next? And then we packed the car, started leaving, and then we got literally just five, ten minutes down the road, and we could hear something from under the car, couldn't we? So, uh, and it kept happening every time we were going like over bumps and stuff. And she's like, this, this is not, this is not right, is it? Shall we stop a minute? So yeah. And pulled over, um, and we literally think that it was his exhaust it was very low down. He had got it sorted recently though, um, but it kept scraping, so we thought this isn't safe. <laughs> so I offered to drive, we drove all the way back home, um, back to Jake's and mine. Um, so I just decided last minute to drive up. Only option, really. I didn't mind doing it. So the <laughs> it was in that moment where I realised all this driving finally served its purpose. <laughs> all those driving lessons and everything. Oh, let's have a look at this. Is uh, walking through all the way down. <laughs> this is awful. I hate it. <laughs> you get to see a nice close up of my sweaty face. Oh, don't worry, I'll get that sorted once we're all camped. Oh my god, I can't wait. So yeah, drove up, a couple of hours, didn't bother stopping off at all, because when I drive I like to get to my destination. Hey, hey guys, look! <laughs> my dad! Oh, so much excitement. The last is the first bit. 
the next obstacle is pitching a tent up. Oh, not looking forward to that bit. Because last year Jake and me argued and <laughs> threw a can of cider on the ground. Went everywhere, went in my eye. It was not fun. But we got through it. So did we. <laughs> and, oh. Oof. <sighs> yes, tis the gates of hell. Oh, we're very close. Oh, we <laughs> Can't wait, can't wait. Almost there. That beer is cooling. Can't wait. Oh, I don't want to put a tent on. I really don't want to put a tent on. Oh, but I suppose we're going to have to we need somewhere to stay, obviously. Right, yes. Right, I'll start vlogging again in a bit. Because I need uh, to get the tickets out. And so, we have officially made it. Wow, hello. Well, that's dark, really. <laughs> oh, where all our hopes and dreams come true. Kind of. Now we're just trying to find a place to camp. Oh my god, it's nice that there's a really nice cool breeze. Oh, it feels so much nicer now. <laughs> Oh gosh, <sighs> have to see where our friends are, if any of them have got here already, I don't know. <sighs> I appear to have a missed call on my phone, I'm assuming it might be one of them. I'll find out in a bit. <sighs> ah. <laughs> and that's all you get from Greg over the weekend. <laughs> Just random Arnie noises. That's how we communicate. Right, battery level was low, because I use this as a sat-nav in the end. As I had to drive, got us safely though, so that's all good. Right, so we're going to find a pitch, place to pitch, sorry. Um, as you can see, <sighs> see you in a bit. We have officially found a place to pitch our tent. <sighs> we pop our tent over here. Here looks good, nice and green. Or is that too far? Is that too far? I don't know. Yeah, well, right. our friends would get here sooner rather than later because uh, this is what happens when you go to a festival is that people are very quick to snatch up your space. Right, I'm going to vlog off for a sec, start pitching tents up. I'll see you in a bit. He's, he's charged my, um, actually charged my um, steak as well. That's good. The one you gave me. Right. Stick that in there. So you're not allowed any of your own views into the arena. Right. Here we go. Cheers. Oh. I don't know. There's so much to choose from. So you've got a lovely game zone over there. I'm not all for it. I don't fancy a crab right now. Oh look, they got the smoky house. Just over there. Duck wraps. Oh, that's nice. That's fun. Yeah. Jake, what are you guys doing? Are you going back to the... <laughs> right. Uh, food. Food. Oh, they got. I got. Oh no, that's bunny chow. Oh, but I like the vegetarian. I don't know. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, sorry, Greg. You fucking will be. Duck wraps, Yorkies, it's Mexican over there. Oh, okay. No worries. Uh, the Texas Grill. 
let's have a look. Oh dear, oh, oh. Alright then. What would you like? I'm going to get a double cheeseburger. Uh, Actually no, I'm going to get a spit like a sausage. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a little bit. Do you want a spicy bean burger? I will have. I'll just have a normal burger. Which one? Cheeseburger? Yeah, I'll have a cheeseburger, yeah. Just a cheeseburger, please. So I have opted for just a normal cheeseburger. Eight pound? Yeah. No, yeah, that's fine. It'll do. It'll have to do. <sighs> she keep me going, I hope. It should be nice. Eight pound for that, Greg. It's a bit small, isn't it? <laughs> it's not going to be very satisfying, is it? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Dirty thought. Yes, please. How does it taste? I mean, that was just lettuce and barbecue sauce. Classic combination. Yeah. It tastes like lettuce and barbecue sauce. <laughs> well, you're eating it, so that's a good sign. <laughs> that's amazing. It's like good. I think it'll serve me a bucket of shit and I'd eat it very quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, buddy. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> so this is my cheeseburger, just cheeseburger. I'm going to help myself to some condiments. Right. So tomato ketchup is on, and this is what I believe you would call a bur burger. It's a burger, yeah, burger. Burger, it's a cheeseburger yeah. with onion rings and uh, onions. Oh, that's, in, that's chow mein, isn't it? Is it chow mein? I have it's no idea. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Food, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's very unattractive. <laughs> Sorry, OJK. <okay. laughs> oh, yeah. Just tastes like a burger, really. Mm, not bad. Eight pound, no, not I don't know. It's nice. It's got a nice brioche bun, so that's good. I love brioche bun. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's a burger. Oh. Don't you quite nice to have some proper food? <laughs> Is, um, is, um, I had to eat it because I'm drunk. How does it taste? It tastes good actually. Oh gosh. I'm going to be like what Becky says, it just tastes like a sausage. Ah. A big one, look at that. Greg takes a big one every day. Yay! What the fuck are we doing now though? <laughs> Bum bags. Is that it? Is that it? Bum. And it says municipal waste on the sign. That is absolutely brilliant. And then you got your standard ones there. Lovely. Yeah. All right. And uh, that is our experience at Bloodstock. <laughs> We're going home now. <laughs> no, it's literally just to get like some food because you know I'm feeling a bit lightheaded. Haven't really eaten today, which isn't very good. So yeah, heading back to the camp now. Uh, probably going to drink some more because you know. It's a tradition to drink more on a Thursday evening at Bloodstock, which is a. Let's do it a bit. <laughs> right, and we are now back at camp, back at our uh, camp skull and crossbones, or crossboners, as I think Greg had said. And now we've come back here to have a, a nice drinky poos. Yep, this is our camp now. 
I have. I, this I, is I, all I, oh, that's the fluffy flag, flag right there. No, 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 I've got a It's I've got, pretty I've got damn got candy. Candy. Look at that. We've got a nice sunset there as well. Right. Oh. And now, it's time. Michael, is everything good for you? <laughs> oh shit, are you recording? No, sorry, Adam. Sorry. Hello. You're all good. It's Hello. Adam from Everest Queen slash Denali. Anything That's else? Right. I don't know if we're in anything. We're coming at you live from Bloodstock, where we're rocking and we're rolling. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, such fun friends. I love them. Right, so what we're going to do now? Now that I've had a burger, I finally had a burger. I'm so happy. I'm starting to feel a bit more myself now because <laughs> I was doing it earlier. Oh, a little bit lightheaded, but now I'm starting to feel more myself, as I say. So I'm gonna treat myself to a nice hiney. <laughs> See you in a bit.